Okay, so why don't we start with you telling us what your name is? My name is Richard Santiago II, visual artist, graphic designer. Do you have any nicknames that some of your friends call you? Or? Yeah, I'm also known as Angel from uh, the crew 212 BTM DOA. Uh, graffiti artist, legal graffiti artist. <laughs> and uh, what all did you do as far as graffiti? Uh, I painted murals. Uh, I started out tagging. Uh, putting my name all over the city of Atlanta and then um, in 1995 uh, Ted Michelson and Eddie Granderson uh, hosted a show at the City Hall Gallery East called Off the Wall and uh, I was able to speak with some mentors that told me instead of doing illegal tagging and vandalism uh, why don't you try turning it into an art career so after 1995 I started painting murals for money legally Okay, okay. And um, exactly how long have you been an artist? Uh, I've been an artist since I was, I, well I consider myself an artist since I was able to use crayons. No, seriously. Uh, I've been a professional artist since uh, 1995. What's that going on? 20 years now? 19 years? Yeah, just about. What drove you in the direction of becoming an artist in the first place? Uh, I used to watch my mother draw murals, not murals, uh, portraits for money. Uh, when I was a kid, around between the ages of 5 and 10, uh, in our neighborhood, my mother knew a lot of people, and people would often visit our house. They'd sit down by the light, by the lamp, and my mother would draw a mural, I mean, a portrait, and she'd get paid for it. So when I was a kid, that really influenced me a lot, and that's what made me want to become an artist. Okay, I can do it. Um, out of all your major art pieces, mm -hmm. what was your favorite or what was the best in your opinion? I think my favorite was Portal 18. Uh, it turned out to be the cover of uh, Elemental Magazine issue 18, which also turned out to be their biggest backseller issue. Um, I think Portal 18 is my favorite. Okay. Who are some of the uh, clients that you've done artwork for? Um, I think the, the biggest major client that I've had, uh, the biggest highlight was Burrell Communications and the American Legacy Foundation because um, they got me into major magazines. I was in uh, five major magazines, four issues of Peace for a Truth Campaign uh, back in 2000. Uh, that made the Source Magazine, the Big Pun issue, they made a couple issues of Double uh, XL and uh, Elemental Magazine as well. Um, I've done work for Sprite, I've, uh, I've been commissioned by Adidas, uh, I even designed a set for a Broadway play in 2004 back in New York City. Okay. Were there any artists who influenced you or your style of art? Uh, definitely. Um, Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn. Uh, even though I, I only met him once when he autographed my Spawn issue 1, um, he was one of my biggest influences. I love Todd McFarlane. Uh, Simon Beasley. Also, Simon Bisley, I think that's how you pronounce it, Bisley. Uh, he was a, a big influence on me. I love his work. I collected, I, I bought so many magazines and books with Simon Bisley's work in it. Um, also, Barry Jackson, who did the work on Cool World back in 92. Barry Jackson is a big influence on me. And uh, also, various artist friends and associates that I have that um, you may or may not have heard of uh, also influenced me as well. Do you have any tips for up and coming artists? Uh, definitely. Um, always sign your name to your work and also no matter how big or how small the media is, whether it's a newspaper or a magazine, never turn down an interview. Ever. Don't ever turn down an interview. Okay. Um, as far as managing <coughs> documents and things that you do for uh, clients, what kind of tips do you have in that? Uh, if you don't have a contract for your records, uh, always make a copy of your check before you cash it. When you get that check from that company, major company, small client, if you don't have a contract for your records, you know, like when you pay your taxes, as, as I did, um, also just make a copy of your check. That's that's also a smart thing to do. Okay, um, you mentioned a while ago that you were published. Mm -hmm. What what types of uh, literature have you been featured in? Um, I was first published 
1996 at, uh, in, in, um, well, actually, I was first published in a, in a high school, uh, newspaper, but, uh, professionally, um, I was, there, uh, I was published in, uh, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in 1996, I got a picture of that, um, also, Elemental Magazine gave me my start in publishing, where in 1999, they, uh, published my graphic novel, Broken Class, also in 2000. Um, the Source Magazine, Double XL, The Fader, um, Five Magazine, uh, Epoch Times International, which is an international newspaper, published out of New York, LA, uh, Japan, and also England. Um, and also, most recently, uh, in 2010, uh, I was featured as one of the artists in the Black Comics book by John Jennings and Damian Duffy. Pretty cool stuff. It's in stores right now. As far as I know, it's in second print. Pretty cool. Okay, well, that's all the questions I have for you. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot.